This question from Henry. I'm shopping for a new bike for next year. Would like some advice. So far, I've done sprints, Olympics uh, on my hybrid gravel road bike. I'm planning on doing Ironman Mont Blanc and then Canada in the fall. So looking for your advice on experience with road or tri bikes, I guess, for hilly courses. Well, we've talked about this this question before in various podcasts. So we have, again, on YouTube videos, I think for any hilly course, you're going to be fine whether you ride a road bike or a tri bike. But specific to the two courses you mentioned, if you only had one bike, I'd say, and, it, and you're, you sound like you're a new, new to the sport of triathlon, I'd say probably a road bike. Uh, most people are more comfortable climbing on a road bike and the bike handling skills on the descents are more comfortable on a road bike. And on uh, most of those, the courses that you mentioned, it's either, there's a lot of up and down. There's not a lot of flat sections where you're going to be worried about being aerodynamic position like you would be on a tri bike. So that's what I would recommend. Shop around, yeah. try them out and, and see what you're most comfortable with. At first, I was thinking because it is such a long race that you want to be an arrow to be as relaxed as possible, as long as possible. But because of those hilly courses, I'm only familiar with Canada, not so much Montreal. that, yeah, you're right. There's those climbing elements of being in the right position, not being hunched over with a bike that geom- geometrically is designed for climbing. It might be smarter. And if it's your first, go with it. And then the next one, get a tri bike. I mean, you're definitely upgrading from a gravel bike just to a road bike. So mm-hmm. you're going to see the benefit of, of, you know, the road or the tri bike going from what you're riding right now. So I would say, you know, again, thinking about your future, are you are you done after these two races? Are you going to continue on with the sport? Do you think you might want to invest in a tri and road bike? You know, there's a lot of variables there, but think think of the lifestyle part of it. I think road bikes are more dynamic um, to go to group rides, ride around town, commute, um, and do other things besides race a triathlon. And so that's another reason why I say a road bike. And you can always put aero bars and get a little bit of aero dynamics in a different flatter course race on your road bike. You can kind of manipulate it a little bit to be more tri-friendly for aerodynamic wise on a flatter course. Gosh, I have not shopped for a bike with the intent or even the possibility of putting aero bars on them, I'd either go one or the other nowadays because they are more specific. Back, you know, 15, 20 years ago, that was more of like, okay, if you get a road bike, get some hand, you know, get some um, aero bars to put on Uh just in case or when you're ready for that. But now you can really go specific either way. Um, Maybe I'm just not in the community enough to know people putting on, aero bars after the fact now as a you know a go-to versus getting a tri bike specific yeah i mean i started 30 ish years ago and i my first ironman in 1997 i put what's called spinaches on my road bike to do kona and they were just little you know they weren't even aero bars but there were little things that you probably see more cycling specific events using yeah. And and I kind of hunched over a little bit and was a little more aerodynamic. But the first few years of of me racing was always just putting some clip ons on the day before the race, and then yeah. I would take and then I would take them off because I didn't I, because I didn't train with them. I was never really comfortable on them, so I only used them race day. Wow. And I probably didn't even use them effectively race day. But that that's what you were supposed to do for triathlon was put on aero bars. Mm-hmm.